Sir, before I conclude, I would like to bring the attention of the House to the case of Sri Nambi Narayan, a stark reminder of how motivated petty vindictiveness can uproot and put back years of scientific development and innovation. It puts fear in the hearts of people and discourages them from carrying forward the works of their leaders, lest they be termed traitors to the nation themselves. Even though he has been cleared of all the charges, the years lost fighting the allegations took an obvious toll on his health and reputation, sir. The country lost out as well on the possible immense contributions this brilliant mind could have made to our space program. Sir, we live in strange times when Thank the you. corrupt are putting the honest and sincere in jail, sir. We see a similar chain of events unfold in my state of Andhra Pradesh, where our beloved leader, Chandrababu Babu Naidu, who worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, Please. have been jailed. Sir, if I'm speaking anything unparliamentary, you have the right to expunge it, sir. But I'm not speaking anything unparliamentary. Please. Please. Within my limits of being a parliamentarian, I'm speaking in this house, sir, who has worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, has been jailed on trumped up charges, which is an obvious case of regime revenge litigation. What incentives do young leaders like me have when honesty is being impeached? On the other hand, another leader from my state, surrounded by psychophants, will be celebrating 10th year anniversary of being out please, on bail please. this 23rd September for looting our country of 43,000 crores, sir. Sir, <coughs> respected sir, we need to fix our system 